All right, guys, quick unboxing slash review of the FNI RSI HS01 soldering iron. As you can see, this is how it comes. Some specs here, looks like it in the back. Instructions. Okay. Comes with nice thick cable, USB. Sixty-five watt charger. Okay, stand holder and different all the different tips. This is the kit, full kit. Uh, by the way, this is going to be an honest review. This unit was purchased with all our own funds. This is not a sponsored review or anything. So, this is the real deal. Okay, the little sponge. Here are all the different tips it came with. Um, you can see the different part numbers there. You can pause that and see what they look like. And I got a quarter down here for reference so you can see the size. Okay. This one being the finest tip. You can see what that looks like. Pull this thing out. It's got a little handle. Alright, so got instruction book, user manual, and here it is. Also comes with a uh, one tip in there already. Looks like one of the other ones, so you got an extra tip. And Like the cover looks like and here's the actual device HS01 okay let's plug it up Step. okay you can read those specs there it gives you kind of all the specs on this Got two ports. By the way, this thing is heavy. <laughs> it's not like just a normal little charger or whatever. It's actually got some weight to this thing. I got a pretty nice leather type strap for this uh, USB cable. Looks like it's pretty good quality. Strap is permanently on there. By the way, no lights on that power brick. So let's plug it. Okay comes up like that it's telling you to insert the tip it knows it has detection so you got to pull off this sleeve to put it over the tip the sleeve pulls down on this part right here to lock it in place once you do as you can see the display automatically changed so it looks like it's heating up I just hit the up button here Like it's cycling. 20 volts set at 300. I guess this means now it's coming up to temperature. And now it's, I guess it means it's at 300 right now. Let me try to test it. So it already comes with solder on the tip. I don't know if you can see that. Um, let's see if it's hot enough to melt solder here. Yep. Definitely hot enough to melt solder. Yeah. Yep. So, uh-huh. That works. We're going to do a couple of the tests then. So far, so good, guys. I'm going to just dump that. So you can just set a range of how you, what you want the temperature, up or down. So you just press down if you want to drop the temperature of the iron. Or you can go to a maximum of 420 Celsius right there. We'll put it at 300. Looks, 300 looks pretty good for now. stand looks like it holds fine okay quick note even at this temperature um, you can even touch this and it's pretty much cool to the touch 
feels a little bit warm at this rubber. This is like a rubber texture here, but you can touch pretty much the whole thing, even up to this. You could even unscrew this if you had to while it's hot, while it's active, as you can see. So let's see if it can reflow uh, some solder. Let's just touch these joints here and see. Probably gonna have to put some flux. I just wanted to see what it's gonna do. Let me go ahead and put some flux on that. Okay. Not really at 300. Let's go ahead and put it up to 350. See here. I got a 360. It's warming up. Let's give it a second here. Should be a 360. Oh yeah, it's doing a better job. That was flowing. Oh yeah. That solder has completely flowed. Let's go here. And the next one. Oh yeah. That's good at 360. It's flowing. Yep. Nice. Very nice. It's a nice thick uh, joint as well. Yeah, all of these are flowing very nice. Yep, okay. So far, so good. Okay, so to get to the menu, to check the other options, you actually hold both of the buttons down together. And there it is. You can see, you can adjust brightness, you hit the arrow, and you can scroll through this menu left and right. Handheld, you've got languages, child lock, sleep timer, um, temperature, you can calibrate it, brightness of the screen, the volume, I didn't know that sound, um, and I think there's the units also, you can change it from, yeah, there it is, so you hold down the button to change it, there we go, so we can put it to Fahrenheit, and hold the button down, so now we got it in Fahrenheit, and I'll just hold on the back button to get out, and there it is. So now you see we're in Fahrenheit. Cool. All right. Just another note, if you just lay it down flat like this on the table, there is a gap under there. So, uh, you know, you should put on the stand, but you know, we're always going to end up doing this at some point. So just so you know that. Okay, to turn it off, you basically long press the right button, hold it down. And once you see this, it's basically in standby mode. So it's going to turn off the heating element. Okay, that's pretty much it. That's my initial short review for this product. And uh, at this point, I have nothing bad to say about it. It feels pretty good. Nice quality product. Um, I haven't seen any issues. I like the cable that it comes with. It looks pretty sturdy. It feels almost like a tube. Um, but yeah, um, looks like a nice product. I would recommend it. Link down in the description. Click the thumbs up button, guys. See you on the next one.